Now, forewarned weather, rated Middle Tennessee's most accurate forecast. Starting off this Wednesday morning with a couple little showers out there, but the greater severe weather threat will be taking shape later on today and really over the next couple of days. I think the severe weather threat will be even higher for tomorrow. Let's take a look at what's out there this morning. Starting off with a look at our forewarned live radar in motion so you can see where the showers are and where they're going. Showers in western middle Tennessee diving down to the southeast. A couple little showers along the Cumberland Plateau moving out of the channel for viewing area. And if you look closely, you can see one little blip there in northern Cheatham County. It's going to slide through the northern part of Metro Nashville itself. So we're we're looking at limited activity so far, but plenty of thunderstorms off to our northwest. The activity in Missouri that sparked a number of severe thunderstorm warnings and some wind damage kind of collapsing, but it's helping to develop this cluster of storms right here. So you can see that intensifying and that's making more of a turn that's going to be heading towards the mid state as we head through the morning and into this afternoon. Outside this morning, we already have plenty of cloud cover overhead. Also lots of haze. I'm going to talk more about that coming up in about eight minutes or so where that haze is coming from, why the sun looked a little bit obscured yesterday and why the moon looked orange last night, but we're just seeing those kind of weird looking skies out there this morning. Very little precipitation so far. It is warm. It is muggy. Dew points are in the low 70s and that's just gross. It feels humid outside. The winds are out of the southwest reinforcing that humidity. It's not going anywhere. Temperatures are in the low 70s across most of the mid state. The exception Northeastern Middle Tennessee, you're in the mid to upper 60s. Let's talk about the storm chances. We're going to see those showers giving way to better storm chances as we head towards midday. See a lot of thunderstorm activity on the radar simulation as we freeze the maps right around noon. Some of these storms could become severe. So in general, a lot of storms, a few of which could become severe. This isn't an off the charts severe weather risk. You don't need to hide in your safe space until Friday. Just be weather aware there may be some warnings, especially southern Middle Tennessee. I think these storms farther south of Interstate 40 this afternoon will have the greatest severe weather the potential for today. A little break in the action this evening, but the storm chances aren't done. Even once we get past the evening hours, we're going to see more showers and thunderstorms possible overnight with steadier, heavier rain, including maybe some stronger storms moving back in by early tomorrow morning. Those storms are going to have the same potential threats, damaging straight line winds for the most part, and also more and more rain falling onto increasingly saturated ground. We're going to have to keep an eye on the flooding potential with additional storm chances in the forecast even after tomorrow, although tomorrow is the best chance of more widespread heavier rain. The severe weather risk were included in a slight risk for severe weather, not only today, but also tomorrow. Doesn't change a whole lot. The Storm Prediction Center has included us for both days. That might get elevated just a little bit more for tomorrow. Damaging straight line winds, the main threat. Can't rule out the possibility of hail, but it's not the primary concern. Heavy rain and frequent cloud to ground lightning will be common with even the non severe thunderstorms. Adding up a lot of rain over the next several days as well. The rainfall amounts all the way through Monday, so that's several days. Hopefully this falls over a stretched out enough period of time. Three to five inches in much of the mid state, which could cause some high water concerns. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. Temperature wise, here's the good news. The clouds are going to block the sunshine and keep our temperatures from warming up a lot. Only mid 80s for highs today, barely above 80 tomorrow. We'll keep it limited all the way through the holiday weekend. Unfortunately, the holiday weekend also makes it very difficult to plan any outdoor activities because of those scattered shower and thunderstorm chances continuing through Independence Day at least. Melanie? Mm, so rain